This is a European country called Georgia, and three good friends are here for a camping trip. They climb up a beautiful mountain, so they want to take a picture. The local guide is taking a picture for them, and he tells everyone to move a little to the right. Then everyone hears a click, not from the camera, but from Chris who seems to have stepped on something. It is a landmine, which they find hard to believe. Daniel takes a closer look and finds that it is a German-made landmine. There used to be a war here, maybe the landmine was planted at that time. The local guide says he has to go back to town to get help, and he tells Daniel and Alicia to temporarily hide behind a rock. The couple comes behind the rock, and that's when Daniel tells the truth, he tells Alicia that he knows she and Chris have been cheating on him. Alicia is Daniel's fiancé, and Chris is Daniel's best friend. Betrayed by his best friend and fiancé, that's why Daniel planted the landmine, he wants revenge. Alicia sincerely apologizes to Daniel, and she begs him to let Chris go, saying she would do anything to make it up to him. Daniel ignores her. He removes the landmine's safety pin, without which the landmine would explode if Chris moved. He throws the safety pin away, then takes a shovel out of the woods. He tells Alicia that she can dig a hole for Chris to jump into, and if Chris is quick enough, he might be able to save his life at the cost of his legs. Then Daniel leaves the place. A few minutes later Daniel rejoins the local guide, who has been bribed by Daniel, which means that there will be no rescue for Alicia and Chris. Chris loves Alicia very much, he doesn't want to drag her into it, but Alicia is not going to abandon him here. Suddenly, a dog rushes over from nowhere, Alicia tries to drive it away with a shovel. Soon a hunter appears, and the hunter questions Alicia why she hit his dog. Alicia explains that her friend Chris is stepping on a landmine, he fears that the dog will hit Chris. Then Alicia asks the hunter to help dig a hole to help Chris, but the hunter picks up a rock and throws it at Chris. Seeing that Chris just stands still and yells at him, the hunter is convinced that there is really a landmine under his feet. The hunter then finds a pair of underwear from Alicia's bag, and he says he wants a pair of underwear as a reward before he will help them. Alicia agrees, but the perverted hunter says he wants the pair that Alicia is wearing right now. Chris disagrees, he gives the hunter all his cash and credit cards. However, the hunter drops all the money, saying that he will only accept the underwear. To save Chris, Alicia agrees and just as she is about to go to the tent to take it off, the hunter tells her to do it right here. Chris is furious, but there is nothing he can do, he hates himself. Alicia had no choice but to take it off and give it to the hunter. After receiving the reward, the hunter begins to dig the hole. But just after a while, the walkie-talkie in the hunter's bag rings, it is his friend who calls him back for dinner. Knowing that the hunter has a walkie-talkie, Alicia is very excited, she wants to use the walkie-talkie to call for help. The hunter says he can lend her the walkie-talkie, but in return, she must play a game with the hunter. The hunter throws Alicia's underwear out, then asks her to get it back like his dog. Alicia does as he asks. But then the hunter says that the dog will bring it back with its mouth. Alicia does it again. Chris is so angry that he threatens to kill the hunter when he leaves the landmine. The hunter finally gives Alicia the walkie-talkie, but the person on the other side doesn't understand English. Alicia has to beg the hunter to translate, and not surprisingly, the hunter makes a new request. The hunter asks Alicia to play a new game with him, for every sentence he translates, Alicia will take off one of her clothes. Alicia refuses him this time, she decides to dig the hole herself. But the crazy hunter will not allow her to dig the hole, he forces her to play the game. Alicia has no choice but to play with the hunter, and soon Alicia has very few clothes left on her body. Then the hunter points his gun at Alicia and makes even crazier demands. So Chris starts cursing the hunter and the two get into an argument. Alicia takes the opportunity to escape towards the woods. The hunter drops his gun to the ground and goes after Alicia with a belt, but then Chris drags the gun over with the chain. Soon the hunter catches Alicia, he brings her back and takes her as a hostage. Seeing that his owner is being threatened, the dog charges toward Chris, and Chris is knocked to the ground, but the landmine doesn't explode. Due to the long-time lack of water and food, Chris passes out straight away. He wakes up and finds Alicia lying next to him, not breathing. The hunter tells him the landmine is fake, otherwise, it would have exploded the moment he stepped on it. A few months later, a young man comes to a house and lies that he is lost. A kind mother and daughter take him in, and they keep him in the house for dinner. After a while, the man of the house returns, and it is the same perverted hunter from before. Looking at Chris, the hunter is scared, and he knows what Chris is here for. The hunter calls Chris outside and says the two should have a duel, and he hopes Chris won't hurt his family. Chris agrees, and they agree to duel in the woods an hour later. But the hunter returns home and immediately releases his dog to hunt Chris. The hunter waits anxiously at home, but soon he hears the dog's screams. He goes to look for his dog, but only sees traces of blood on the ground. And at the moment Chris arrives at the hunter's house with the injured dog in his arms, and he tricks the mother and daughter to open the door. The hunter returns home and rushes to get his shotgun, because he fears that Chris will hurt his family. But he didn't know that the bullets in the gun have been removed by Chris. 
Chris takes out his gun and shoots the hunter in the leg, then has the mother and daughter carry the hunter into the house, where the real revenge begins. He makes the hunter's daughter tie up her mother. The hunter keeps begging Chris to kill him and let his family go. But Chris ignores him, he wants to do everything the hunter did to Alicia all over again on her daughter. Then Chris makes his daughter take off her underwear and carry it back like a dog. The girl did as she was told, but Chris still doesn't feel like it, so he opens a bottle of wine and drinks it. Looking at the hunter who cannot move, Chris comes up with a more exciting idea. He takes all the bullets out of the pistol, then puts in only one of them. He makes the daughter take off her clothes, and for every clothes taken off, he fires a shot. If she's still alive with all her clothes off, Chris will let them go. But unfortunately, the game ended with the second shot. Chris is stunned, revenge does not please him, there is only confusion and emptiness. He huddled in a corner, looking helpless and sad. I'm Movie Ape, thanks for watching.